It's your boy Ezo KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. Now y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Last a couple weeks ago, I made a video about can the Thunder pull out close games. They kept losing close games. So we get to the third quarter. I see it's pretty close. It's somewhat near close. They could blow a lead if if the seven hits start going crazy. So I see I'm not even gonna react to no highlights. I want to sit here and talk about exactly what I see. We get to the fourth quarter. The Thunder up. Up. Oh, as soon as I'm finna say. Oh, they're not blowing the lead. They up by 11 and blew the lead. 11 straight points for the Santa Sixers and the Russell Westbrook, Paul Joy, and Carmelo Anthony Thunder did not score a point. They did not score a point. They missed every single shot. And it wasn't like they missed good shots. It were all bad shots. Every shot was bad. All the shots were bad. And the only reason why I ain't read the highlights is because they're not going to show what I want to tell y'all. I want to give credit to the Thunder. They won the game. But this is what I want to talk about for on down the road when they have to play in the playoffs and when they need to win games because they're they not looking good in the West right now. They're not looking good, and this is exactly why. This is exactly why. They get in a close game and lose. So we get to the uh, – after the fourth quarter, they – well, fourth quarter, I said, obviously, get a ball to the person who is hot. Hot. 11 for 17, Carmelo Anthony, 8 for 23, Paul George, and 10 for 33 for Russell Westbrook. It looked like Carmelo Anthony had the high hand. He was making all his shots. He was looking good like he was pulling up. He was making good shots. And he got quality shots. And he had Sarge on him. So give him the ball. He didn't get the ball for the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. We get to overtime. Um, straight iso ball. No movement. Anything like that. And it's going to hurt you. I want the Thunder to win. I want them to beat the Warriors in a series. But it's not going to happen because... Right now, it's not going to happen because they miss more. They have more bad positions than they do good positions. And the only reason why they beat the San Francisco today is because Jordan B was dead tired. Robert Covington was missing all his threes. J.J. Reddick was getting hounded. Ben Simmons can't make a can't get to the free throw line and make shots, so he did shoot the ball. He can't shoot threes. That's exactly why they won today because everybody and they, then uh, Jordan B was turning the ball over. Jordan B almost beat them by that, by itself, literally dead tired. So this game is nothing against them right now. It's about. They have to it, – It's you have to do it now. In games like this, you have to figure out what the niche is for your team to come together and y'all give the ball to the hot player, move around, get open shots. They don't move. Second overtime, same thing. Uh, Robeson missed a uh, – uh, and Rob Robeson. I love – like I said last year, I love Robeson as a defensive player. But you have to at least make a jump shot or open three. Be Trevor Ariza. Shoot a three and make it. You is an in, in the NBA game. Me and dog shoot a ball and make it. Make a free throw. They double team off him every time. And they have to keep him in the game because he's so good at defense. But I want him to be able to shoot a shot. Um, and that's going to hurt against people. In, the Rockets are looking good right now. The Warriors are still looking good without Steph Curry. So I'm talking about this game like this. Give the ball to the person who is hot and move around. Move around and help everybody this game. With, uh, this game. You know, it's not as good as look. The triple double, it look is good and everything. But I'm talking about the play. They was not supposed to win this game. It was because Jordan B was tired. But Russell Westbrook had made some clutch shots at the end. He was shooting real bad. It was worse than this. But he made some clutch shots in the second and third. I mean, yeah, second and third overtime. But like I said, I, I just came to y'all and y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I came to y'all exactly what I saw. Exactly what I saw. It seemed like they still don't have it together. And when somebody hot, they don't give him the ball. Melo is never just – Melo was in a shooting slump, and they still gave him the ball in the game. But he was hot today, and they don't give him the ball. And that part of Billy Donovan, too, he has to make plays where they can mesh and do something. Because right now, it's not like they just freeloading, and in and, and the playoffs, is not going to work like that. I want the Thunder to beat the Warriors. I really do. I do. I don't know about y'all, but I do. And it's what I want them to do, what they need to do. But I'm not no coach, so I'm going to be quiet. But it's exactly what I saw. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Elza, KJ300. Y'all know, come make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let get these digits.